Hi there, this is Dr. Shvetamra Sabharwal. Uh, how to get yourself through a difficult experience? Please, I know that if I was physically present there, you'd probably chuck something at me for using this word self-awareness. You know, this is a word being thrown in our faces over and over again from everyone in and out of the mental health space but I respect them all for bringing it up because it is so so significant and I'll tell you why when we want to get through trauma pain a difficult relationship we need to become aware that this entire difficult experience is coming from somewhere we often like to externalize it so we think it's the person who spoke badly of us or it was something that in the past that happened and I'm just not able to let go of it or what if this happens in the future I just won't be able to tolerate it uh, you know so and so treated me this way so and so didn't treat me nicely so very often we're not aware of where this difficult experience is coming from and that is what I want us to start understanding that we are often responsible for our difficult experiences because of the meaning we are putting to it. Of course, terrible things happen sometimes, unfortunately, and there are triggers. Those are maybe contributors, and I'm not taking away from that. But the meaning that we put to it uh, sometimes just magnifies it, just makes it so much bigger. And that is where self-awareness comes in. We need to understand what we are bringing to the table, how much we are loading it, you know, how much baggage we're putting onto it, how much importance we're giving to it, which is making this so much more difficult. So self-awareness in terms of what am I doing in this situation that is making this more difficult, unhappy, unhealthy for me. And what you're doing is thinking of it in certain ways. So when we want to get through a difficult experience, and please pardon me, I've always believed in being the cause and uh, treatment as far as possible when it comes to emotional issues for yourself, because that is what we can control and that's what's in our hands, whether we like to admit it or not. So once we take responsibility, we take the onus that clearly we are adding too much meaning to this, we start recognizing that this might be to a certain extent our doing and we could cope with this differently. And that's what I mean by self-awareness, that it is my thoughts that's bringing a certain amount of irrationality to the situation, you know, where it's making me feel so down and out. And so to be able to get through this situation, if I can work with my thoughts, maybe this will get better. So I'm not being able to solve the problem. The problem stays. In fact, let's assume the worst, it never changes. What are you going to choose for yourself? Are you always going to land up making yourself suffer, which is going to get you sick eventually? So no, we're going to make a better choice. And that's another thing about self-awareness that we have to be motivated. We recognize that something's up. I don't have control over the external. I have control over myself, thus self-awareness. And um, the control that I can exercise is on my thoughts. And those are the ones that we need to work with when it comes to getting ourselves through a difficult experience. Now, having set that stage, you have to take two steps back, spend some time with yourself and ask yourself, what am I thinking? Sometimes we, we catastrophize, sometimes we magnify the problem. Like I said, we put too much weight on it. What is it that I am bringing to this problem in terms of thoughts where I'm making this worse than it probably is? We think that it's all about us. So first, let's pinpoint the irrationalities in our thought processes. And if there are any, then we need to correct it. Well, if there aren't any and somebody has gone and made a choice, then you know you need to drop it because that other person is not, will not ever be in your control. A question that has always helped me see through some really difficult times in my life has been, what is the value in this experience? What is this experience trying to teach me? Why am I going through this? It has to be a lesson that I'm meant to learn. The minute you convert this difficult experience, you convert it into a lesson and it starts to become easier to experience. It starts, it starts to make sense almost. In fact, I'd go to the extent of 
saying gratitude to that experience because it's about to change your life it's about to change you it's about to change the way you think and the way you function it's not possible that i don't have the strength inside of me to be able to see myself through this so what am i missing here look back at the bank of your resources your infinite resources of so many problems that you have solved for yourself so many conflicts that you have managed to overcome difficult times so we often in difficult times underestimate our ability our strengths i would encourage you to find those strengths inside of you